Hey everybody. So this video is about how to get a WHB pendant to work on Linux CNC. I built a milling machine with Linux CNC a couple of years ago and I used the the XHC, the one on the right uh, pendant, I have a wireless version, and it works just great. It took me forever to figure out, just like everything in Linux CNC, but ultimately it was just, it was really good. Really, really, uh, really excellent product. I use it to, to zoom around and find the edges of the parts, and I really like it. So I had a project where I was helping a friend root convert a Bridgeport CNC and I thought well hey let's buy the zippy new one right the uh, I really like the fact that you can select the the increment of jog that's one of my real hard spots with the um, with the previous version and uh, it looked like it had a little better display it was probably faster so it was cool I could not get it to work uh, my gosh it took forever finally did and just like everything with Linux CNC it was impossible 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 it took me forever until I finally figured it out and then it was like oh my gosh that was so easy I can't believe I you know I had spent 10 minutes on that problem so I'd like to save you that time and I want to show you how I got it to work and then after that I'm going to show you some debugs so if it doesn't work for you I'm going to give you some hints on how to make it work so first of all let me just give you the answer right so you only have to do two things to get your WHB pendant to work in Linux CNC on the left you need to make a couple of simple additions to your initialization file so you need to do two things in the how section which you'll always you'll certainly have a how section already you need to add a line that says how file equals xhcwhb etc and then you need to add a line that says how ui equals how ui and then you need to add a section in that any file with square brackets around it called how UI. And then you need the MDI commands 1 through 14. And, you know, they're not numbered. That was that took me forever to figure out. But ultimately, you know, you, just, you, you need these. And I put a little debug message so that when I put, when I push the button, it would show up on the screen. It would give me a little message. If I, if I push this button, it would give me message 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all the way to 14. And then once I figured out what button did what, uh, by the way, there's a problem with button three that I, I think I know how to fix, but um, that's another that's another issue. I actually added the the ones that I really care about, and, and those are these three, which is x0, y0, z0. Like I said, I mostly use the pendant for for finding the edges and zeroing parts, right? So when I get to the edge of a part that I want to make zero, I, I hit one of those buttons. It works. And then I also like the half because if you go to one side and zero it, then you go to the other side. Well, if you do half, then you're right in the middle, and that's that's you know a lot of my cat is from the middle of a part, and so this is the x and the y um, zero. So that's it. That's all you need to do on the any file. And then on the right side, you just need to add this how file into your main directory. And I actually, I'll link to a uh, post that I did on the Linux CNC uh, support board to show you what it is. I tried the one from the manual page and just, there was all kinds of things you had to remove. It was really tough. I couldn't figure it out. Um, ultimately, I was able to make this work on the simulator and I'm about to go make it work on the, on the real machine. Um, I'll link to this. That's it. It's really simple. Let me show you. So here's my here's my uh, sim. This is I'm RDPing into a Linux machine that has this on the sim. Okay, so here you go. This is a sim, and I'm, then I'm RDPing it into it from a from a from a Windows box. But here's my you can if you can hear the hear the uh, controller clicking away. But here I am using X, Y, and Z. All right, and then uh, you know, very helpfully, I can I can zero x. You can watch the zero go x, y, and z right from the pendant. That was pretty cool. And then let me move one. Let me move y to I don't know. Let's say one inch, and let's say that's the other edge of the part. And I want to be half, so I'll do I'll do half y. And there you go. It's about a half an inch. Right, works just great. Let's do the same thing with x. Let's move x back, and let's do two inches, just for kicks. Roughly two inches, and then here I'll do half x and it's one inch just found the middle, right? So it's working just great. Now, if that works for you, you're done. Uh, have a nice day. Hopefully uh, you can save the hours and hours that I spent uh, figuring this, this very simple thing out. If it doesn't work, here's a couple of hints to where you might, you might go for debug. So first things first, let's make sure you can actually see the wireless dongle, right? And so the way that, the way that you do that is there's a Linux command called LSUSB. L S U S B, and if you click it, oops, if I spell, it, you gotta spell it right. L S U S B, and here you go. You can see it, and where is it? It's right here. It's the Silicon Labs device. Now I'm gonna unplug it from the computer. So here I go, unplug it, and I'll run L S U S B again, and you can see, look, it's not there, right? So the first things first is I'm seeing it, and I'm gonna plug it back in, and run L S U S B again, 
and there it is right and it's at 10 ce eb 93 and that's important you know and if, it, if it's not there or if you're not if you're not seeing it in the system in the next step then you got to go um, modify something called the rules file and i'm not going to show that here there's some decent uh youtube and also online help to figure out how to do that with either the um either the old pendant or the new pendant it's basically the same so the first thing first things first is can you see the pendant right so we can see the pendant here and that's just great now the second thing is, can you can you actually make it you know make it work with the driver right? So so let's so let's go look at that right. So actually I'm just going to close this one and open up another one. And there's this built-in driver built-in. I think I'm using Linux 2.8, uh, whatever uh, whatever's whatever's recent here in uh, whatever's current here in uh, February of 2022. And there's this driver that you can run in, in test mode and it's really helpful. So you type in the name of the device, XHC dash, why they make these so hard, I, I have no idea, 04B dash six. And I have a dash four, but the dash six works just fine. And then run it with the dash UE uh, code and you can see the pendant move. So here I'm gonna do that and look at that, it's working there. So I'm gonna move the pendant wheel and you can see stuff happens, right? So it's seeing the pendant wheel go back and forth, right? This is perfect, this is what you want. And then I'll push some buttons and you can see I'm pushing the button that says, hey, pendant wheel. So it sees it, right? It's working. Another helpful, um, another helpful um, uh, one is the dash P. And you can look on the manual page and see what it is. But same thing, if I push a button, you can see it's a little bit easier to read. So what pin is there? Here's my function pin. You know, you can see it's working. So in my case, it's all working. And if you don't get this far, well, guess what? The next step isn't going to help you. So you got to make sure that it sees it. And if it doesn't see it, it's probably a USB problem. You have to go look into that that rules file and, and define it. But it's right there, and it just worked out of the box for me on the simulator. No problem at all. Okay, so you can see your dongle from LSUSB. By the way, if you don't... Um, if, if you do a LSUSB and it says command not found, you need to add a program called USB utils. So uh, what you would do is you do sudo apt git install USB utils. And I already have it installed, so it's gonna it's gonna you know look at it and say it's already there. But but if you but if you can't do LSUSB, that's that's why. So okay, so now let's go to the to the manual page, and this is where I ended up, you know, really getting stuck. So this is the Linux CNC manual page for the WHB pendant, and you know, it looks really helpful, right? There's this, there's this driver which actually just works just great, and here's how you use it, and here's all these cool things, and it gives you an example file, right? And man, let me just tell you, this did not work for me at all, right? So, uh, and and there were several other examples that I found on the. Um, on the on different sites that you know put in scales and and load rts and all that sort of thing and you know ultimately the way this works is that if you have another pin somewhere else in your configuration that's defined uh then then it'll it'll complain right and by the way i i actually tried this on the the real machine and it complained on a couple of them and i had to i had to just you know comment out those lines and so you'll, you'll have to do that and you know ultimately i ended up with the with the any file that i that I posted, but realize this is just not going to work for every machine, right? And how could anybody make a any file that would work for every every machine, right? It doesn't doesn't work that way. So, you know, don't be discouraged if this doesn't work right away. This is actually pretty close. Like for example, the machine is on stuff. I already had a I already had a you know a, a thing that was machine is on, so I had to comment that out because I was trying to claim it twice. It wouldn't do it. So, um, like I said, the 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 file that I posted works on the simulator just fine. It actually didn't work in the main machine. I had to, I think I had to comment out four or five different things, but it still worked just fine. And um, and that's it. So that's that's the way this goes. Again, it was quite simple for me in retrospect, but quite hard in in, in you know actual doing it. Hopefully, this makes it a little bit easy for you. Have a good day.